Okay, folks, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to place, replace this upper motor mount here on my Pontiac Sunfire. It's worn out. As you can see, you can see the how, how, how much that motor's moving. You get a lot of vibration when you take off. You can actually move the whole car here. So, I'm going to try to replace that today. Okay, now the first thing I've done is took a jack with a piece of wood on on top and uh, put under the oil pan, jack up the engine just a little bit to take the stress off the mounts. Okay, the next thing I need to do is you need to take this coolant bottle out, overflow tank, and keep in mind, I'm not a mechanic, and I've never done this particular job before, but I've worked on enough cars through my life that I know a little bit of what I'm doing. And I have had have had this apart a little bit before. So I need to take this coolant bottle out, and I shouldn't have to take these lines off. I should be able to just swing it out of the way. And there's supposed to be, a, I think, a 10 millimeter bolt down there, but that's been long gone. There's just a screw holding that in, so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, I've got that up out of the way. I just used a bungee cord to help hold it out of the way. Hopefully this will work. Now the next thing I need to do, you got three 15 millimeter nuts here. You need to take off, that'll take this cover off. And uh, first of all, Need to clip my redneck air conditioner hose clamp because the original one's broke, so I'm gonna take that off. Okay, well see if we can get these out. Okay, there was a little clip right here, which was part of the clamp for this, which was broke anyways. So I'd take that off, then he got another 15 millimeter nut there. Okay, that cover comes right off like that. these two 13 millimeter bolts that got to come out. took this top piece off. Next thing I need to do is I got two 15 millimeter bolts right here. I'm going to take those out and take that bracket off. So I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, you got two more 15 millimeter nuts holding the motor mount in, so I'll take those out. Yeah.
Okay, we had to drill, the old one was riveted in, we had to drill out those rivets, and the new one has these Allen bolts on there, so that just come right, went right in, and we put them in and tighten them down good. So we'll go ahead and try to put it in. Okay, we got the new motor mount back in the car installed. I didn't get any video of that. We did have, the, the motor did move on us, so we are kind of busy getting that instead of, uh, taking a video. So all now all I could do is uh, put the cover back on and put everything put back together. Okay, got her put back together and as you can see it's a lot more solid now. We started up two apples. Okay, we're taking it for a little test drive here, and it seems to be much better. I was getting a bad vibration when I, whenever I accelerate, and especially when I'm making a left turn. So what we're going to do is make a left turn right here, and punch it, and see what happens. Wait for traffic. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's a lot better. Much better. I will add that I've gotten through the years that I absolutely hate working on cars. I used to like work messing with my cars, but I've gotten to where, especially this car here, because it's a freaking pain in the butt, I absolutely hate it. But I needed to fix that. I didn't want to pay anybody to fix it. And I'm taking a road trip next month, so I wanted to get get everything needs to be done on this thing right. So I don't have any problems, hopefully. So hope you enjoyed this and maybe you didn't learn anything. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye.